Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I would like to explain you how you can hide your documents from Dell. Uh, let me first explain to you what this whole issue is all about. If you navigate to Delph, and there are a few ways to navigate to your Delph profile, you can either uh, access Delph uh, from the uh, Office 365 app launcher over here. That's option number one. Uh, second option, you can just click on your uh, office profile under your photo, under your picture over here, and you will navigate to your Delph profile. Uh, this is the page you will get to see. And I actually have done uh, a video already on what Delph is all about. You can check it out on my uh, YouTube channel. But essentially what uh, Delph is, uh, it's your personal profile page. Every licensed user within Office 365 gets, um, gets a page just like that. Um, which I describe sometimes as a mix between employee directory and Facebook. All right. Um, it's a page where you can look up anyone's uh, contact information. Uh, all right. And as well as you can also update your profile with your hobbies and skills and projects and expertise. So other users can look up that information as well. Now, another uh, important part of Delve uh, is that by default, it also surfaces up uh, the documents, the documents you have been working on. And uh, this is essentially the section on the right hand side. All right, it shows me the documents that I recently worked on. Uh, and if I happen to click, let's say on Mary's profile, my colleague Mary, I will get to see the documents that Mary has uh, modified recently. Now, uh, this is all based on permissions, all right? I, it's not like I'm going to see someone else's documents if they were private documents, you know, stored on uh, their OneDrive account, or maybe Mary was working on documents uh, uh, on, a, on a site I don't have access to. Uh, the reason I see these documents is because we share access to uh, the site. I either share the document, look at this, I share the document with Mary from my OneDrive. That's why uh, I get to see it, obviously and Mary can modify it. Uh, and also the reason I see this document that Mary modified is because I already have access to those sites, uh, all right? Uh, so it's all permission driven. Uh, however, this still concerns a lot of users, all right? However, uh, this is pretty, it remains a mystery to me, but uh, this still confuses lots of users. Uh, and um, I, I hear lots of requests on how to disable uh, how to disable um, showing up documents on a on a personal uh, Delph uh, profile page. Uh, there are uh, different ways to do this, to achieve this, and each way varies in, in terms of uh, complexity uh, to set up and uh, effectiveness. So I just would like to show you two options that you can do. Uh, so the option number one, you can actually control uh, whether or not you uh, want to display the documents on your own personal profile. So for example, if you have an organization, you know, a few hundred people, and you just, you're the only one who, who doesn't want to see the documents uh, on the Delft profile page, nobody needs to see them. You can actually turn them off just for your own profile page. Let me show you how to do that. So you navigate to your profile page and then under gear icon, feature settings. All right. And right here in this section over here, uh, all you need to do is just switch this toggle to off and click OK. I'm not going to do it because I don't think turning this off is a good idea, uh, but uh, you can do it and um, it will take up to a week. You can actually see it. It tells you right here it may take up to a week. So don't worry uh, if you are going to still see the documents. If others will see the documents, uh, it will take a week uh, for them to disappear eventually from your Delft profile. So that's option number one that you can do pretty much yourself. Option number two is something that only SharePoint admins can do. Uh, and option number two pretty much disables Delph globally for everyone, all right? Uh, and again, you have to be a SharePoint admin. This is pretty much turning off Delph, um, Delph um, documents uh, for everyone. Here is how to do it. You click on the app launcher. Again, you have to be an admin. Uh, a SharePoint admin, a global admin, and you would need to navigate to SharePoint Admin Center. And uh, this is uh, not something that uh, this feature is actually a bit hidden because Microsoft right now is revamping the, um, the um, Admin Center. 
And it's not a feature that is yet available in the modern admin center. So you have to navigate to classic uh, admin center, classic settings page. Uh, so you just click on settings and then click on classic settings page. And then uh, once the page loads, uh, let me show you right here, right here. Um, this is the section. And by default, of course, it's enabled. You uh, can just click this radio button and click OK at the bottom of the screen. And uh, it will probably take some time, but eventually uh, Delph will be pretty much disabled. Now, this is not something I recommend either. And it actually tells you over here why. Because you're not just going to turn off Delph uh, completely. Uh, it's also going to uh, turn off other very important features uh, on other properties within Office 365, and it actually tells you what will be impacted, all right? So you're not going to get any suggestions on SharePoint start pages. The documents will not be discoverable in OneDrive or in other applications. Uh, and essentially, I think the uh, um, Office 365 and SharePoint will lose this social factor, right, where, uh, where um, y you know, the application suggests that you click on certain documents. Uh, just like on Facebook and LinkedIn, we, uh, you know, certain content is suggested for us. You will kind of lose this uh, cool, you know, social factor that we now have within SharePoint and Office 365. Uh, but that's just my opinion. Again, you know, I, I, I do not recommend that you do it, but in case if uh, you want to disable Delve uh, globally, this is an option for you uh, to choose from. One last thing I wanted to mention before we end this video, my SharePoint Maven Academy. Uh, it's a place where you can enroll in a variety of SharePoint and Office 365 courses. Uh, all the courses are available on demand. So once enrolled, you can pretty much take them at your own pace. Uh, you navigate to the Academy by going to academy.sharepointmaven.com. And I will also leave the link uh, in the uh, video notes as well. Uh, but once you make it to the site, um, you can uh, access all the courses. I have two different categories for you to choose from. I have some end user courses. I have some uh, site owner courses. And I constantly record and add additional courses for you to enroll in. Uh, and again, once enrolled, you can access those courses at your own pace from the convenience uh, of your computer. Uh, all right, that's pretty much it. Uh, everything I wanted to cover uh, in this video. Hopefully, you learned something new. Uh, as always, uh, we'll be happy to see you on my YouTube channel as well as my blog, SharePointMaven.com. Thank you very much and have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.